So today we're making our True Blue Merlin Crab Burger, and that's our signature dish here at Fish Scale. Well, you know, I've had plenty of crab cakes in my day, but I don't think I've ever had a crab burger. What's that all about? It's all Merlin blue crab. We don't use any breadcrumbs, no filler, so we like to say no cake in our crab cake, so we call it a burger. If there's no filler, what are you gonna use to hold it all together? So we make a moose out of shellfish. Uh, we use lobster tails, we use scallops, and we use a uh, wild blue shrimp. This is the moose right here? Yeah, it took a lot of trial and error, but I just got the right formula. You almost had to be like a scientist to kind of come up with this invention. Yeah, it's like a mad scientist. <laughs> <laughs> yep, actually our dad is a marine biologist, so I think he got a little bit of that scientific bug. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're applying it to food. So how does this uh, all get put together here? So uh, we have the jumbo lump crab meat. And you gotta be a little more delicate with that because you don't want to be breaking up those nice, beautiful chunks of crab meat there, right? Not at all, not at all. So now Crystal is mixed in the jumbo lump. We will season it with a little bit of salt. This is pink uh, Himalayan salt. Oh, nice. Then a little bit of pepper in there. And then I have the hardest task of all. I have to quality assure, I have to taste it and see if it's good. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's, a, that's amazing. Oh man, you're gonna offer me the jumbo lump, you're so kind. Oh man. I'll tell you, how can you, how can you improve on that? It's just... There's just <laughs> nothing like Maryland crab. Yeah. It's just the best. I would put it up against any crab anywhere, hands down. Amen to that. Now I'm gonna take the shellfish mousse and I fold it in gently. And you just kind of spread it over the top. And then I just fold it in. So you have to be really gentle with it. Care. Take care of it. It doesn't even take too much of it for it to all start to kind of yeah, bind together. Yeah, yeah. It's like a, almost like a paste that keeps everything together. But it's, it's, it's flavor in the paste. We actually are adding more seafood. So right. we're taking what God made and adding more of what God made. So it's just like an abundance of flavor. So now we're going to form the patty. So we're going to take a ring mold. It gives us that burger shape. So we take a nice, generous amount, and we put it in the mold. And I know a lot of times if I head out to a crab house, crabs are coming in from the Gulf Coast, the Carolinas. Is it hard sourcing true Maryland crab? At times it can be, but we've built up a really good relationship with the crab houses that, that we work with on the Eastern Shore. Must be kind of fun to occasionally head out to the Eastern Shore just to just to meet with the suppliers. Absolutely. A little field trip. It is absolutely fun. So now that we have the patties formed, it's just one more step. So let's walk over here and take it to the freezer. Sounds good. So you're gonna freeze the burger, Chef? Yeah, so the mousse helps bind it together, but we just wanna add a little extra insurance with freezing it so it'll firm up so when we cook it, it doesn't fall apart. Stay nice. So essentially like a hockey puck. A delicious hockey puck. Yeah, yeah, delicious one. So once it firms up in the freezer for about 30 minutes, we take it out, we pan sear it in the hot pan, get it nice and caramelized, and then we flip it, put it in the oven to cook it through so that shellfish mousse cooks. So we have an olive oil bun that we get from a local bakery. We lightly grill it on our hardwood charcoal grill. And once that's done, we add our signature condiments on and then we just enjoy. Brandon, Crystal, thank you guys so much for letting me see how you put this crab burger together. I'm just gonna dig in. Guys, that is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> the flavor of the crab, just so simple, so buttery. Yeah. What's the relish that you put on the crab burger? So it's a, it's a cucumber tomato relish we make in-house, and we uh, just use a little bit of apple cider vinegar. The burger is just so unctuous that it helps kind of coat it with a little bit of acidity. And the great thing about it, the cucumber tomato relish, I love it, but when customers come in, they could pick any of our house-made condiments. We have one from Southeast Asia, the spicy sambal. So if you wanted to add a kick to any of your burgers, that is absolutely a great choice. If the crab's not enough for you. Exactly. You want if you want a little kick to go along with your crab. All right. And you picked a pretty good area to be opening a fish burger restaurant. Yes, um, the Mid-Atlantic area, we have just a bounty of seafood, but we also have an array of fish coming from the uh, West Coast area, uh, down in the Florida Gulf. So we really get a lot of fish that maybe a lot of 
people that come in they don't see often or they haven't tried before so we like showing people a little bit something new and giving them a different option.